Before we continue, um, I thought I'd take a moment to respond to all of the lovely things that have been said so far. <laughs> and thank you. That was a really, really beautiful moment. As Rabbi Dan said earlier, to be chosen as the cantor of a community is a sacred responsibility and not one that I take lightly. And I just wanted to give a little bit of, of background to what I'm thinking and feeling in this moment. It's, it feels as if my whole life has led me to this moment standing here before you and I'm so grateful to be here. Just over seven years ago, I was asked by a rabbi to lead the High Holy Days for the first time at his synagogue, Congregation Shema Koleinu in Houston, Texas. I'd barely led a service, I hadn't really, since my own bat mitzvah, and I could not imagine the path that my life would take after I said yes to that offer. But from the moment that I stepped in front of that congregation, something clicked for me. I didn't know what a cantor was at the time, really, but I was excited at the prospect of a calling that could bring together my Jewish upbringing, my passion for music, and the desire to work with people and make a difference in their lives. In the spring of 2016, I enrolled in the Hebrew Union College's Debbie Friedman School of Sacred Music, that's a tongue twister, <laughs> which was a five-year program that would help me discover what it actually meant to be a cantor. What I discovered over those five years of study, first in Jerusalem and then New York, was so much more than I ever could have imagined. I finally got to meet and work with cantors in the field. I studied historic and contemporary cantorial and Jewish music, and I strengthened my knowledge of Torah, Jewish philosophy, and Jewish traditions. For my cantorial thesis at the end of my studies, I got to explore these questions even further, researching not just cantorial and rabbinic history, but also how reform cantors and rabbis have worked in partnership in synagogue communities all around the world. All of this brings us to the beginning of 2021, when I was looking for a synagogue and, of course, Temple Shalom was looking for a cantor. I interviewed with many different congregations across North America and tried to get a sense of them through that Zoom screen, as many of you might know. It's hard. So I knew that I had a little bit of a bias to Temple Shalom because I love the Pacific Northwest from going to my undergraduate, getting my degree in Tacoma. But I was, I was intrigued to see this Vancouver congregation pop up, so I decided to submit my name for the job. And I don't know how to explain this, but from, from my first meeting with Temple Shalom, with the search committee, I knew that this place was different. There was something, again, that just clicked. And, and I believe you all felt it too. I hope. <laughs> Everyone I met with, from congregants to staff, just exuded a positive and warm energy that I could feel even through the screen. And now, after being here for over a year, I'm excited to report that Temple Shalom is all of those things that I thought it was, a welcoming and supportive and warm community, an organization that has an incredible, hardworking staff that keep this place running smoothly throughout all of our events and holidays. And of course, I get to be part of a clergy team that is dedicated and compassionate, trusting and trustworthy, where I know I can be myself as I continue to learn and grow in this role. Thank you from the bottom of my heart to everyone who made it possible for me and Kylan to be here, Rabbi Dan and Rabbi Brown, the Temple Board, the Search Committee, Richard Curland deserves his own shout out, <laughs> <laughs> the Temple staff, and all of the congregants who made sure that Kylan and I were housed and fed and made us feel so welcome from the moment we got to Vancouver. 
Now, I also want to take a quick moment to explain why we brought two of my teachers and mentors here all the way from New York. So as you've seen, this installation marks a new phase of my cantorate. Not just being here at Temple Shalom, but actually being here as a full-fledged cantor, as opposed to a student, which I was before I got here a year and a half ago. And I would not be the cantor that I am without the help and support of these two amazing humans. I'll start with my professor and our incredible accompanist tonight, Professor Joyce Rosenzweig. Joyce is a, for, a force to be reckoned with in the world of synagogue music. Her expertise in Jewish choral music opened my eyes to the breadth and depth of Jewish music, and her passion for musical collaboration showed me the beautiful and exciting ways that we can weave Jewish music into our synagogue services. I had the honor of working with Joyce in our student choir, in classes on harmonization, Yiddish and Ladino art song, as an accompanist for services and other programs. And every opportunity that we had to work together, I was blown away by Joyce's high caliber musicianship, her passion for teaching Jewish music, and her compassion for her students. To work with Joyce is to experience a pure energy and excitement for music that is just irresistible. She can make a 200-year-old piece of chazanut feel as relevant and exciting as if it was written for this particular moment. And as someone with a background in classical singing, I was drawn to Joyce's presence. And I'm just so honored to call her a mentor and a friend. And I knew that I wanted Joyce to be part of my installation so that you could also experience this vision that Joyce has for what synagogue music can be drawing on this exciting diversity that we have of Jewish and cantorial music. So thank you. Cantor Josh Breitzer. When I began my cantorial journey, I didn't really have a cantorial role model. But from the moment that I began cantorial school at HUC, I knew I'd found a teacher and a mentor in Cantor Breitzer. You are one of the most knowledgeable, energetic, and organized people that I've ever met. <laughs> Serving, I know, as a cantoral role model for so many other students as well. If I ever have a question about chazanut, Jewish modes, holidays, Jewish traditions, Cantor Breitzer is the one I go to. Not only does he have a wealth of knowledge about the art of being a cantor, but also he's a gifted and passionate teacher dedicated to imparting that knowledge and inspiring a love of chazanut in future generations of cantors. As a B'nai Mitzvah tutor and cantorial intern at Congregation Beth Elohim, CBE in Brooklyn, I got to see Cantor Breitzer's wisdom and musical prowess in action, learning from all the ways that he brings together a myriad of styles and genres of Jewish music. Cantor Breitzer is also a beautiful singer, as you've heard, a sensitive musician, and a compassionate clergy presence, both to his congregants and the HUC community. I'm so excited and honored to have him here to be part of my installation and for you all to experience his presence in person. So thank you. Now to close. <laughs> in this week's Torah portion, tomorrow morning, we read the story of Noah and the flood, after which God promises never to flood the earth on that scale again. God says, Zot ot habrit asher ani noten beini uvenechem uven kol nefesh chaya. This is the sign of the covenant I make between me and you and every living being, creating the first rainbow in the sky. Tonight, we're celebrating a new covenant, one between me and our congregation. I feel so incredibly blessed to get to be the cantor of Temple Shalom and stand up here among inspiring mentors, family, friends, and this dedicated, wonderfully compassionate clergy team. The connections I've made in my year and a half here with congregants have made me feel the strength and incredible passion of the Vancouver Jewish community. 
You are a group of spirited and diverse Jews who are resilient, proud of your heritage, and dedicated to ensuring the continued vibrancy of Canadian Jewry. Thank you for choosing me as your cantor, and I cannot wait to continue on this journey together.